Now a line of best fit is appropriate for lots of different graphs that you're gonna be drawing in physics, and it allows you to show the trend in some data. So suppose we had some data here. The best way to get this line of best fit is to use a transparent ruler, and this then allows you, when you put it on your points, to see how many points are above and below that line. Now this one here, uh, it looks like we're going to go through the origin. The origin is the kind of the, the, the I guess the start of the graph. If this has a value of zero and that has a value of zero. Now sometimes your data is gonna go through the origin and if that's the case, all we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of work out where this fits, where we've got an approximate number of these points above and below the line. What I can then do is, again, using a 30 centimeter ruler, rather than trying to draw it you know, twice with a 15 centimeter ruler, we then just put in our line of best fit, just like that. Here we have a different set of data, and if I try and do the same again, so I try and get this line to go through the origin, uh, when I put the line in like this, something doesn't look quite right. Because what I've tried to do there is I've tried to force this line to go through the origin of the graph. Now, sometimes, depending on the kind of data that you've taken, it might be more appropriate to have a line of best fit that hits the y-axis at some point. So for this data, this might be a more appropriate line of best fit. So here we have a set of data, and you can see that if I try and put a line of best fit through it using the ruler, there's no way that I can really get a straight line to go through this data. So what we then have is we have some, maybe a curved line of best fit, which would be most appropriate. Now stuff like this, there are certain things that you shouldn't do. The first one is that you never join the dots. If you have a trend like this, you shouldn't just be joining one point to the next. So that's just bad physics. If you're putting in a trend, you don't join the dots. What you need instead is a curved line of best fit. Now these can be quite tricky to draw. What you shouldn't do is try and do it too slowly because you then end up with a bit of a wiggly line. So a slow line, if you draw it, just looks rubbish. Equally, what you shouldn't be doing is almost sort of like kind of, you know, it's not an art lesson. You're not trying to sort of fill in the line like this and kind of get that shape. What we don't want are hairy lines. So to draw this curved line of best fit, you just gotta be brave and go for it, making sure that you use your pencil in case you make any mistakes. Sometimes you have data like this, and it's actually really awkward to get your hand to draw a nice curve there. So the best thing to do now is to turn your paper around so that your hand is on the inside of, inside of that curve, and then again, just draw your line of best fit. So that's how to draw a line of best fit. It can be going through the origin, it might go through the y-axis, it might be negative, or it might be one of these curved shapes. So next time you get some data, just have a look at the data that you've plotted and see which trend line is most appropriate.